Greetings everyone, please give me a, a, blah, a moment for to make sure everything's set on up. <clears throat> I just realized something as well, I don't actually have a drink near me, so I'm going to need that fixed. Kick is going. Twitter is going. I update the YouTube thumbnail. Nope, not upload video. Get a X middle of everything. Your thumbnails update. Twitter appears to be going. Double check on Rumble. And Rumble appears to be going. Looks like everything's going up good. Please give me another moment to make sure everything's set up over here. And looks like everything's good to go. So let's go get started. Today I got a handful more 2v2s for y'all, but first let's start with 1v1. Is my microphone working? Yes, it is. Okay, just had to double check. Sometimes I you I forget to check my microphone, and sometimes it's not working. Greetings, everyone, and great here for another Cup Heroes One replay. So on the right side, as the Vermok or Panzelite forces, we have Sky is the limit with a lowercase i. Two of them spawn as the British forces as as the British forces. What? Uh, my mind's fried. We have Maximum Milo Sindri, who also have two lowercase i's. Clearly it means they're the same player, right? Either way, we've got the Kengrad actually going hyper-aggressive. We do have a secondary and tertiary Kengrad being blown for you. He may be using this guy just to literally bully the squad around, prevent them from capturing. He's advancing, fast approaching. we got a fast mover here. Maybe a B-bed. Baker's emplacement fires away, does slightly interrupt the capture, slightly not. Damage and gets the decapture there. He does sustain ancient crit there, does activate the fourth ground force, so we've got immediate doctrinal lock in. Or maybe not immediate, but at least close enough. He's now going to hunt it down, which would delay the fuel point even more. Uh, can the Vickers emplacement spot it? Uh, it gets spotted there and goes down. He will get the munition sector captured up, and since he doesn't have any resource sectors really captured, he can go ahead and pack up the HQ and make his way forward. Oh, he also lost this, so best to use a Burkin to get that recovered. Hmm. Not in supply just yet. It's sitting up ready. Crush some wall segments. This, there is angle here, so you can fast deploy it maybe right around here. I don't know the exact shape of sector. If I were to follow the line, yep. There's the edge of the sector. So, I'm not sure if that was worth it to lay enough fuel. Maybe it was worth it, I honestly don't know. Perhaps, probably likely not. Kenegrad does capture that munitions sector. This munitions sector being captured on up. Pants going to deploy on the field, going with the comp group company. He may be eyeing for a 250 infantry half track to overrun his opponent. That's usually a pretty common tool against the British, except for going for multiple Kettingrads. Use what limited squads you have to mount up and push forward. He does go for a 250 uh, half track. So I have a good feeling he's going to mount up. Fuel point being captured. Scope out of squad. Push away forward as well. Taking some small arms fire. It may just camouflage away, which would be a bit perhaps safer. And does go ahead and get on out of there. He may want to get this guy onto the cutoff point, capturing it up, and then 250 half track can taxi him even further. Speaking of taxi. British Bren carried up on the field, who's not currently carrying a Bren squad as its name implies. Going to this fuel point may, may not be a bad idea. Try to deny his opponent's resources entirely. 
Half track is going to pull in a few. Panzer Grenadier is taking some damage. He may be going to drive this over here and mount up. <laughs> but nope, he's going straight for the half track over here. And the fuel point is going to be decaptured. He could decapture it while it's blown in the back, right? Maybe he should have done that. So it's a little bit safer. All he needs to do is get that point decaptured, not necessarily fully captured. And does still decapture it, starting to get suppressed there, taking some small arms fire. He may actually get the suppression. He does off the model there. Usually, off the models tend to actually hurt the suppression effect, at least in couple years too. Infantry section does fall back. Grand carrier here. And Grand making his way back to that cutoff point there. Lieutenant kept this sector. And Grandier is now pushed their way forward once again. That's the same squad as engaged early. In fact, that's his only Panzer Grandier still in the field. Taking a bit of damage there. They're now the Lieutenant taking some damage. Lieutenant does fall back. Panzer Grandier squad needs to fall back. Ooh. Let him oversight there, so he's out of Panzer Grenadiers. Nope, he has a Panzer Grenadier now to redeploy it on the field. He's coming for low off ground forces, so he may be eyeing for low off ground forces squad or the Falschenjäger. Maybe Falschenjäger's been pretty good. Allow him to deploy on the field, allow him to get some additional field control. Wait, how effective are Falschenjägers on the back of half track with FG 42s? I have no idea. If anybody knows that, please let me know. I don't know. I think I've ever seen Falsh and load in the back of a half track before. And I'm going to try and get that cutoff point. Panda Shreks are now available. This one guy may be useful to get the Panda Shrek going. I can't tell if he is or is not. Because he is finding because this half track. And if he sends one for low off ground forces, he have alternative forces for infantry we could utilize for anti-infantry purposes, such as the Folsom Jaegers. Half track and chasing down the Bren carrier, who's a full track. Lieutenant trying to gun down the half track. Inside is back on off, doesn't want to push any farther forward. Secondary Panzer Gundir now pull on the field, who's also who is currently being upgraded with Panzer Tricks. I don't know if this guy is. I have him selected in Cupbears 2, selected Attention, in the unit. I will see the see the upgrade progress, but I don't know if that's the case in this in Cupbears 1. Oh, with the other ones packed on up. Yeah, we can't see the upgrade because we know the other one is being upgraded. I think by now the first one would have been upgraded. Lieutenant does have snow taxi. Additional pants can do in field, so we're not going to see some sort of full shooting play. Ground. Maybe he's not getting enough command points for that. Isn't that two command points, not one command point, if I remember correctly? I always fit the exact numbers for some of the abilities. Since I don't play online for a couple years one. My men are forward supply lines are broken. He does. Yep, he, that one squad does get upgraded for Pantrek. He is actually pretty the opponent's base sector. He may be on for a snipe on the HQ. It would be better if he gets two uh, Pantrek's for that. He may have a second one being upgraded because he has spent quite a bit of munitions. What about the fresh one? Fresh one's not being upgraded, so I think the other one is being upgraded for Pantrek now. Yep, he does get upgraded there. Pantrek fires, gets a hit. Oh, it's going for the field support truck, now the HQ command truck. Oh, he's going to try to deny some teching. Very, very, very nice. You really should learn how to aim that thing. Trying to repair while we're loading. Or is that a bug? Yep, I think it does reset the reload. I know uh, building out a slit trench with rifle grenade, uh, rifle grenades can reset the reload. And there goes the fuel support truck. Ready, 
structure takes some damage. Sapper's here. He has at least one sapper on the field. Didn't get a captain out, so can't deploy out the armor command truck. The sappers, if he can get the piets up there, he can put go down to the trench, and the piets would be a good stable point to save that HQ. Kettengrad's almost down. Infrastructure maybe will take out the Kettengrad here. He Kettengrad's decaps the fuel point. Hans Grenier's not properly protecting it. Over here, got the Pantrix engaging the Vickers of Placement. Takes it out. Open up the avenue. This one still covers the bridge. Taking time to repair it up and Laws reload his Pantrix a little bit early. That's a bit of a, quite a bit of abuse. We are losing a sector. Hans Grenadier is engaging the intersection. And he has a report of field support truck, and which was a bad idea because this half track is still in the region. He needed to clear it out with a squad of Piets. Going for both for there, that's a good way to deal with the half track. He needs to drive that field support truck near the Bofors. This one sapper put out is very important. Does mount up in time. Does take some damage there. And Bofors gets cancelled. So that means this fuel support truck will go down, hops over the trench. Half track having trouble traversing some of the area. Uh, having trouble with pathing. Uh, Pantrak's not firing either. He has two squads in the back, but they are just keeping the, the bolt action rifles out, not the Pantrax. does have a intersection here. Bolger has come out and out. I don't think he has the senior grenades at the moment. Uh, he does have the incendiary grenades, or should I say the anti-structure grenade for the Fallgation Magus. Gets that uh, slow trench build, and the Fallgation Magus steals it. Nice little steal. Rock still taking damage. You may want to dismount one of the Panzer Grenadiers so the other one can at least get the Panzer Truck firing. And there goes the truck. Scorpion Squad falling back. Our comrades have given their lives for the homeland. Oh, he did get a wipe out. Squad wipe here. Lieutenant capturing up the fuel sector. Brent Carrier is severely wounded. The various player does not appear to have a doctrine socket, almost at three command points. Which, if he gets the three command points, may be a good idea to get out of Churchill. He's having trouble with fuel and munitions to come, so maybe a Churchill would be pretty good. He does get a P at squad. I'd say it was a little bit late. Maybe he had trouble with munitions since I hadn't had him selected, which would make sense. Yes, do get some good hits there. First player has two, three sections and of course one Piet. No Vickers replacement left on the field. And here comes the half track. He needs to retreat back early. He won't be able to stand him. Five all these forces nearby. Let's get a couple hits there. That'll at least keep the half track not from overrunning his HQ. A section pushes away forward. And does take out the half track, so it does take time to finish it all. Giving a lot more breathing room. Does not need a full first now set on up. Both these transgenders are quite bedded now, taking a good out number, good number of structures. Your section of advanced way forward, since this sector is in supply, they can actually run and jog and move a bit of urgency. Those forces are all falling back. It does have four command points now, and you could do quite a bit of four command points. Squad squad severely wounded. Ooh, nice spot for a Kettengrad, getting some good spotting. Not cut this one 
He has four truck on the field. He may want to get out that captain. And the Scorpion Squad does fall back. Does get the cutoff point there, denying the income from the right we side of the map. Ten of Grad just trying to be annoying and decapture some of the back line. Ocean Mager is pushing before, but they do have Factor C1. Yes, so let's get a small hit there, knocking around the fall stream Jaegers. We have now a casual clearing station getting healed or reinforced. Got all these forces not falling back. Left hand needs to fall back as well. I grab the captain the central VP. And scope our squad behind the recapture up that strategic point. He does have enough missions for some healing, which he may want to get. He's actually now engaged in here. We do have a secondary structure that will be employed field. It's the Panzer Support Command. Maybe the Panzer Force C could be very useful. Oh, plus it's going for Panthers. The Germans are after one of our munitions depots. Another sapper is complete. HQ's at 200 points and dropping. Lieutenant MPS straight forward. Ocean Megas down to three models there. We're actually quite wounded. We get out of the garrison. The Polygon retreat back to get healed up. So just going to be joining the Panzer Grenadiers. Does drop a model there. And the Panzer Grenadiers do get flinched out. Line the uh, Ocean Megas take a bit more damage. And this Cat and Grass just being annoying once again. Gotta run butterfly bombs there. At this point, he may need to go for a minesweeper on the Piet squad. Or not on the Piet squad, Sapper. It's that one. Gonna take a bit of time to get all those S. Uh, he is not caring whatsoever. He saw those get deployed right in front of him. He is just eating those. I guess he didn't, wasn't paying enough close enough attention. We also got another cat and grab decapturing at this point there, which is a cutoff point. <clears throat> a section does need to fall back, left hand falls back. And try and go for a slip trench there, but he's not gonna be successful. Maybe we just need to get inside the garrison itself. Another slip trench back second. here. All these forces are to overrun his forces. Does get a slit trench built. Does get inside. Oh, does they got the Ketan grab there. Best to use a broken to get that recovered. It's gonna take a bit of time to clear out those sappers. Healing at home has nearly five command points. Good to go. Going after one of our munition stores. Down to 100 points. Getting blood down pretty quickly. It has double capture against him. This point's not being captured on up. 
Each section patrol four pentagoners. You can set the garrison. There's three wounded side, so it's a good spot for them to fight from. So they are a little bit wounded. The trench does eat a pan struck shot, but it's not go down. Germans are taking one of our strategic points. <clears throat> Fresh captain not being employed on out by the British player. Captain that sector with the sappers. Scope of squad, Captain the Northern VP. 343 squad could just press him. He probably has plenty of resources. Oh yeah, plenty of munitions. He even has enough for the initial straight and run. He has happens to do fall back. He does look like maybe popped out the garrison got inside the slit trench or just simply walked into it because he already has upgraded with Veteran C1 and some FG 42s. Air Panthers now being pulled on out. Ocean leaders are seeing a bit of damage there. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. We must protect our munitions from enemy advances. Does fall back there. He had switched away four, getting some damage there on the Polish Jaegers. Actually, one on to the Lieutenant. Good hit there on to the Sappers. Does get a good hit there on the Panther. And the Panther does take another hit there. Our command truck now being employed on Elf. May need to go for a pair of fireflies. Let's see if we see a doctrine just yet. Five command points. Supposedly it's not selected doctrine. Pete's getting some hits there onto the Panthers. HQ is at 50 points. We need to regain momentum in our assault. Hunter is fighting up north. Got these sections fighting away. Panthers a little bit wounded, but more than plenty to deal with this northern infrastruction. And it's like that infrastruction will go down entirely. Probably. He does retreat on back. Game body blocked as well. Nope, we'll see. We'll escape on out. It's moving around. We've got the armor command truck in this sector. Does get a bounce there. The sector was locked down. PS4 got rear armor here. Does get a pen there. Fresh core armor being pulled on the field. Or it's there under the armor command truck, like taking out. Piet's trying to find another shot. He also should be in front so he can draw some fire from the pen trucks, but there goes the armor command truck. Captain Aura now in this sector. And the captain's world's here. There goes the captain. Massive crushes there. Gets knocked around. Those retreat on back. And looks like the British player does back or gets knocked out of the game. This angry is saying, Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay. Before I can start next replay, I realize I don't have a drink nearby me. Please give me a moment to make sure I can grab one. Sorry about that. Back. No starting to uh, run as well. Let's wait for doing another 2v2. Let's go and just do 1v1. That map. 
This one should be simple enough. Greens have one and great here of another Hope it was one replace one well, north side as the Vermark forces we have broody with two capital zeros spawn left bottom side as US forces we have death machine We got a triple Vermark pioneer being plotted on the field probably can get the Vermark quarters around here This me right around there Pioneers deploy You need any construction? Sending over two pioneers to capture the left flank of the map. He's not getting the cutoff points, so once he gets these points captured, they will not be providing any sort of income. We've got two engineers for the US players splitting them up, trying to capture the safe sectors and going for this cutoff point. Nope, baby time for a bit of wire here. Our tank trap there. Pioneers kept that fuel sector. Vermont quarters now. Oh, he's going for a fourth pioneer. Really, I'm the capture pressure. <clears throat> Engineers do deploy out that tank trap. Munitions like they're being captured on up. And these forces are heading down south. Or, nope, some sandbags there. Not fully building sandbags. I'm not sure what's going on there. The rocks core is not pulling field. Going for some Volks Grenadiers. Volks Grenadiers are soon to be pulling a field. They will be fighting against a potentially a rifle squad down this road. Rifle squad may be eye for this garrison here or for this garrison. Pioneers now capture the safe sectors. Volkswagen is now pushed away forward. There's of course negative ground here you have to be careful with. Pioneers do fall back nice and early. We got some light cover for the Volkswagen to engage with. Volkswagen is gaining some good damage there. Volkswagen may have not taken a single point of damage so far. Rifle squad sort of moving around. Volkswagen is heading to over here. Or if there's some sandbags here. <clears throat> Rifle squad and engineers moving around. Engineers going to be I can cut this wire, of course. And we'll go ahead and engage the sandbags. Our base is under attack. Rifle squad and gains the Volkswagen deers. Volkswagen deers are behind some heavy cover there. Pioneers. Moving forward to accept those engineers. Got these pioneers not getting overrun by the rifle squad. Got two rifle, uh, two pioneers here. Both down like cover. Gave some damage, but not a whole lot of damage on that rifle. Pioneers have rebuilt the wire. Now instead of map, we do now have the jeep which is way forward. Rifle squad engaging from heavy cover. Over here, got the pioneers taking some damage from the riflemen. Now the pioneer squad's falling back. Rifle squad pushed forward, engaged by engaging this rifleman or the. the ah, can't speak right now. Volkswagen is now heading down the pathway. One Pioneer squad is charging forward, the other one in swell. Rifle squad will get overran. Pioneers will fall back sooner rather than later. Rifle squad just soft retreating away. One of these Pioneers have gone down. And I got the Rifle squad taking some damage. Even their distance over here do have this Jeep. Yes, comrade. Rifle squad being engaged. Can you find some light cover? And a bit of heavy cover. This rifle squad is also engaged at long range. It'd probably be safe enough for the rifle or the Volkswagen to engage those forces. Deep pushed away forward. Rifle squad 
they advance forward to my coverage. Right now, the Volks finish skiing over a ram. Skirmish phase is being researched now. Volks Grenadiers engaging. <clears throat> I was getting injured crit there onto the Jeep. And the Jeep does go down. Fire squad's behind some light cover. This one over here is not behind any sort of cover. And we've got this one behind light cover as well. He's focused on the one that's not in cover at the moment. Support. Wait, support units, Veteran C before Infantry Veteran C. That is an interesting choice, but now it's Pioneers of Veteran C 1. He does have four Pioneers. Let's so start with the carcass now. Pioneers now falling back. They haven't dropped any models here. Folks in here is now skirmishing around. They have taken quite a bit of damage. Strafford squad also has taken quite a bit of damage. There's Veteran C1 support squads, or regular infantry squads. So now we've got Veteran C1 of these folks from Deers. One of them needs to fall back sooner or later. It does fall back. More or less, yes, but they're more or less all fighting behind cover. Like the rifle, the US player is actually migrant going behind the cover, so it's not really blobby. <clears throat> the pioneers, however, are to sort of move around a blob. We do not have a bunker going up, liking for a cash recovery bunker. There's a casualty recovery bunker. Got a pioneer over here. He can push forward and catch this right side of the map. These engineers are doing a good job capturing up the entirety of the right side of the map. All these riflemen squad, they're wounded. And the next engagement, they're gonna be knocked out pretty easily. Mine super now pull on the field. Very nice. This player is going for multiple landmines. Probably should one should have gone for one landmine there, not two. Is there taking some good damage? <clears throat> Now got the flamer engineers and regular engineers getting inside that garrison. Both engineers will displace them, getting some good hits. Over here, this Volk engineers take a bit of damage. He could win up with a rifleman. He's taking it there very, very low. Let's drop a model there. Both those rifle squads are now falling on back. Only have a tree out center. He really does need a tree out center. Engineers being pulled out. We will be back first. We do have a support weapon center here. Probably for a sniper. I don't think it's going to be for a 30 cal mortar. Tree out center now going on up. It'll take a bit of time to build, especially if there's only one guy. Fairmark sniper now pulling the field. Got landmines here. That's a US, no, that's a US uh, sniper, not a Fairmark sniper. Finds that landmine there, forcing back both of those squads. Doesn't get any models, so they will heal, but will take a bit of time. We are ready to push back the Yankees. You need any and they find a landmine here. That's not the US landmine. There's US landmines everywhere. The Vermont player does have a minesweeper on the field, just not where he needs it. Where he does needs it? Somewhere over here, and perhaps here, and just everywhere. Except you will not have trouble finding the landmines, because they are everywhere. Sniper does a good shot there. Sniper taking some fire, not getting any, taking any damage at the moment. We'll perhaps draw them to this landmine. He's already pretty wounded, does fall back there. No counter stopper being pulled on out. We are ready. <clears throat> on to us. Fire. 
Sniper does get a shot there. Sniper avoiding almost all points or AP point damage there. Rifle squad pushing forward. Both screeners be fighting from light cover. There's multiple landmines to help cover the sniper. And we got these forces falling back. They do find another landmine there. And now a Vermox sniper falling field. Counter sniping or sniping the flamethrower engineers. Another shot there. Overall, great field control by the US player. One sniper, one sniper. Munitions point is ours. Great, another replacement. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies. Losing a sector. Another Wehrmacht sniper now pulling in the field. Do we see, uh, nope, no, another sniper, not another sniper there. US sniper right here. On the corner, he does go ahead and get, make his direction, advance in that direction, not towards the sniper, so no indication of any sort of map hack there. He's just going straight for the fuel point, a very blobby though. Sniper's not currently engaging, folks are skirmishing around. Into some light cover there, rifle squad does fall back. He may actually I'd pick off that I uh, know the sniper's just too far forward. If he gets a shot off, his retreat path. Oh. Now this is worth it. Do a sniper quick a shot there. He's very close. We have lost a unit. He's, and there we go. One of the snipers went down. He does mini camouflage. Now the US sniper's going a bit more of a dangerous path. Pioneers are just gonna try to flush out the sniper to spot it. A uh, landmine detonation here. Nope, it's another US sniper firing away. He does want the sniper. Sniper rolls a miss, of course. Pioneers can gauge the sniper reasonably well. Off of power shoot ring in. Does go ahead and un camouflage and get out there. Can we line up a shot now? Rolls a miss for both the artillery and the sniper. And somehow the sniper. Never mind. <laughs> Why does that happen too often where a sniper just fights a landmine? Uh, that never gets old. Fairmont players at three command points. Umpcraft Center to got himself virtually one infantry and support units. Assault troops are awaiting deployment. And now we got Blitzkrieg. Now there's a camouflage squad I really do like. We do now have another US sniper here. Which won't find a nut Wehrmacht landmine because he only built one there. The sniper is actually pretty. Finds a shot there. The US sniper could get a counter snipe, but may get gunned down by the pioneers. He's on camouflage and gets counter sniped. That is a very sneaky sniper. He's in the middle of his opponent's composition. Pioneers will get some damage onto him, but he'll be just fine. He has a true house center back at home as well to get a blood transfusion. Bunker here. Another Wehrmacht sniper from one field. This game is going a little bit crazy. He does find a Wehrmacht landmine there. It's two US landmines in the region. Flamethrower does go down. Wiped out by a sniper fire. Wehrmacht player has one sniper on the field. Only is going for one at the moment. Nothing else being pulled out there. US sniper is back at home. Is there more US snipers in the field? Nope. Actually, we only have one US engineer remaining. He had. No, he only had two, not three. And we saw that one going down. He did have. He did lose a minesweeper. The rifleman squad. Getting some fire there from the Volks Grenadiers. Now with the rifle squad falling on back. Volks Grenadiers, Tramsden! Oh yeah, there's like four landmines right here. I'm having trouble selecting them all. Four US landmines are there. Rapid squad now seeing sniper fire. I are going for a landmine. And now, oh wait, that's a Sherman tank. We got fast Sherman being pulled up by the US player. That could be very interesting. 
The Vermont player has a pack 30 in the field. It's not a hard counter, more of just a counter. Finds two landmines. That's one way to defuse landmines. Honestly, losing one model for two landmines, that's very good for the US player. Or not US player, Vermont player. Finds another landmine there. Doesn't drop any models. There's another US landmine here. Fairmark Sniper does get a shot there. <clears throat> and now I do have some off-map artillery, another off a hard shoot. Sniper creeping away, pack 38 set up on angle. He may get splashed a little bit. Sniper gets another shot there. Pack 38 sitting up on this direction. Fairmark landmine here. And the US player is maintaining entire field control of this side of the map. He does have the rifleman squad and the sniper on this side. Oh, and looks like the Sherman tank does take a hit there. There's two pack 38s getting some good hits there. He may be eyeing for some stews. He does not to blame any stormtroopers. Pioneers and Volks are nearest pushing way forward. Do have still three Volks, two Reserves packs, to two snipers, two pioneers. They are an on map artillery barrage gets a great hit there. Only getting damage from the sniper and the Volks grenadiers did not take out a sniper. One sniper is right there, the other sniper is right here. Let's turn over to US player. Well, we know he's what doctor has gone for. He has gone for infantry since we know about the off-map power shoots and all that sort. He does have a little bit of manpower. Oh, enough, does have enough munitions now for another off-map power shoot. The enemy is down to 300 points. Supply yard, no supply yard upgrades. Say more Shermans wouldn't be half bad. You know where your position right now, even a Sherman Crocodile could be useful. The men are <clears throat> My apologies. <clears throat> Sherman Tank now advancing along the flank. Looks like he's not fully repaired. He does have a couple scratches. He can still be buffed out. Uh, munitions observation post. Right now he does have 77 munitions per uh, per minute, which means he can bring off my power shoot every other uh, minute. Engineer is taking some severe damage. That was six and hits there. Maybe it's time for off a power shoot. Taking massive hits there, and he will go down. I see you just land mine there. One of our Shermans has been destroyed. On map artillery. Gets a good hit there. He crews both of them. That's a pretty good shot. Oh, there's a pioneer there. Does recapture the pack 40 of a pioneer. <clears throat> this gun has to get some damage. One more round. Will come down. Does not take it up. Engineers and rifle squads charge with four. Rifle and squads. He's some shots into the snipers. Pioneers trying to engage him. And probably should have focused fire the mine super squad to get the full wipe. The out mine super never hurts. Off my power shoot running right there. Won't be able to kill snipers. Mine super looks like it'll go down. It sounds like there's a landmine that may have went down there. Does fall back there and likely the engineers shall go down. Casualties yeah, no problem. The US player is losing quite a bit, but he does have majority map control. More of a super majority of the map control. Just get me 
Are these forces are just hanging out here? The Riven Squad may just want to get out the garrison. Be a good defensive point. While the sniper to be use them as a distraction. Another offer power shoot raining on in somewhere over here. He's bringing the off map power shoot in this region. We now have a fresh stew on the field. <clears throat> if this Hulk does take some hits there. US or Wehrmacht snipers in the region. US snipers here. On map artillery now raining on the sector. I wonder how much uh, casualties you've covered. Two out of four. No free grenadier just yet. Our right, squad does fall back. <clears throat> M10 pushes way forward. It's a US landmine. There's still a good number of US landmines here and here. <clears throat> Another stew now put on field. Still probably a good idea to go for some more Shermans or some M10s. He's out of resources, going for an M10. Oh, US Sniper creeping his way in. Uh, not sure. He may be on to counter snipe these snipers. I have everything but a target. Oh, he may run into them, does avoid, and no counter snipe. I uh, he may not he didn't want to take a shot in front of the MG, which is probably a good idea. Maybe he's just going to camouflage the sniper here, and when he retreats on back, he's gonna drop ordnance on their head. Off a power shoot raining on in. May disrupt the capture. I think he threw it right there. Maybe trying to splash the um, uh, shoes a little bit. Snipers right here. I'm going to keep them selected so at least they're white on the mini map. He was sniper still creeping on forward. I'm interested in what he's planning to think about doing. Hopefully, something fun. Nothing important there to pick off. He basically has one shot, maybe two at most. Germans are seizing territory. <clears throat> And in a position where he can no longer provide value, or can only provide a value Enemy once, does get the wipe down. there. Uh, that may not be a, been worth it. He doesn't, unless he's really going to charge for this current M10. He does have two M10s in the field. Engineer's taking some damage. He knows what at least one stew is. He may not be able to see this stew. The arc of the hill is preventing probably proper targeting. Since it is uh, the scatter effect, it does go ahead and pass scatter behind. And it looks like the sniper does go down to the Volkswagen. He didn't notice that shot. That snipe on that Pack 38 was not a good idea. That was a waste. But now he knows he doesn't have to fight the Pack 38 in this region. Uh, maybe a fresh. That's the same Pack 38, isn't it? Does have some breathing room. Does get hit there. And his M10s are just straight up missing. Sniper Steve gets some good hits there on through the rifleman. There's those good hits on those riflemen. Riflemen now soft training away. They probably need to do a full retreat. M10 engaged in the minesweeper. He has no more guns up and going. And the Minesweeper is too expensive to use as a melee weapon. And it looks like this Rifle Squad will be wiped out. Rifle Squad should be wiped out. Somehow the Rifle Squad was not wiped out. And do firing away shoes. Oh! Definitely a landmine there? Hmm. He did probably see that for a brief moment. Rifle Squad. That is a Fairmark landmine that somehow did not detonate. It may not be fully built. I know it is fully built. Somehow it didn't detonate there. And I guess the wipe thanks that detonation. I could have sworn he was already on top of it. 
U.S. Fire has been maintaining good missions and calm, so he's been able to bring out a large amount of ordnance. He's at 66 munitions for income. And how many vehicles do I see here? Two Pack 38s, two Stu's, and one Pack 38 over here. So we've got three Pack 38s in the field. So maybe another M2s in order of that many Pack 38s. <clears throat> As Faust will fire, he does crush one of the models. Pack 38 does get a good hit there. Pack 30 or Pass Faust still firing. Rotating around and doesn't actually get the shot off. One more minute until the US player can bring in some more ordnance. They're hitting the one of our forward one of our I see. I don't think it's planned to go even to the salt phase. I don't think he has salt phase. Landmine has exploded over here. We saw that one built a long time ago, near the beginning. Are you done soaring your uniform? You know, it's about the landmine detonated there and knows about the direction, so that's why he's trying to barrage. He does roll some misses there. Like, does a. Again? <laughs> Someone, if you're watching on somewhere, YouTube or Twitch, please clip that. Oh, that's the third of the sniper went down to a landmine today. Or this game. There's a two for one special this time. View observation post. That. No, oh, he has plenty of fuel at the moment. He probably doesn't need any more fuel observation posts. We've got now another off power shoot running on in. Aging the bulk grenadiers. Rifle squad does take some good hits. Front shooting. Crowds are grabbing territory from us. M10 here. Volkskrenner is firing away. Up here, rifle squad takes some hits. M2 now pulled on a few. Now got some stun grenades. Oh, did, oh yeah, he went for Blitzkrieg. I don't know why I forgot that he went for Blitzkrieg. Enemy unit down. We're losing a fuel sector. Enemy unit down. Is it brought in the base? Maybe something over here. M10 firing away. Right now, the environment player does the captain's favor, but he's severely behind tickets. Got another Sherman tank on the field. Those quite battered, bruised, and beaten. Medic has picked the pioneer. Tank taking some fire, getting repaired on up by some engineers. M10 now push way down the center of the map. He shows only have two. It's also approaching pop cap. Does get uh, tied up on the terrain a little bit. There's almost one thing I'd like to remove from Cup Heroes too. If they're crushing terrain, they don't get slowed down because it's something that you can't really control. Because after all, that M10 didn't really touch anything, but he crushed this uh, shed there, slowing him down entirely. M10's now driving down the center road. We had no landmines, which is usually a common place for landmines, if you think about it. Those roll a miss there. Trying to overrun the Stu. Rolls another miss with a great flank. Act 38 rotating around. Does get a bounce there. He almost has enough munitions for off a power shoot. Does not does not get a shot off there, just a whiff. A couple more bounces there, no kills. And maybe good idea just back on off. Made attempt, it failed. Not because of his own issues, it was the game just saying no to him. Brings an off my power shoot where the pack 38 was. Stun grenades are stunning the rifleman, and there's and wipes off the gun. And destroys the gun. Another stun grenade. Here, take that with you. 
Oh, bar rifleman just completed. More. Oh, I think he found some no thought those landmines there. They may have been one sort of been detonated. We are losing a M2 running the sector. Bolt scenario is now push my fork. I've pressure C2. Bedbunk getting hit. He does have just the two M2s, one barrage here, one barrage here. This is able company he may just want to play more of the VP game when trying for the killing game, because his opponent has very low VPs. If he plays the VP game, he can probably just outright win. But of course, sometimes you have to kill your opponent in order to get the VPs. Capture recovery bunker may go down. A couple pack 38s here, so he looks he's going to lose a M10. One M10 does go down. Both spinners trying to get past the foul stuff, and looks like he will lose everything there. Yep, two AT guns is very different than one AT gun. Yeah, I think he should just try to focus this uh, VP right now. So he's to keep both these secure. He's lost too much now. Hmm, maybe off of a uh, combat group. Does he have enough command points for it? He may have enough com command points for the off-map combat group. That can perhaps get him quickly back to game. Save all this manpower for the off-map combat group to get a uh, decent, well, combat group. And almost anything from the off-map combat group would be useful. Rifleman always useful. Range is always nice to have. Greyhounds will be useful in this situation since he doesn't you know, help him hit the infantry. Uh, AT gun wouldn't be half bad help hit the Stews. Let's get stunned there. A 30 cal can help him keep control of the land he currently has. A 30 cal is not bad. The only thing that's questionable is probably the mortar. And yeah, I think the only thing, mortar is less useful at this moment. Everything else should be pretty useful. Turn pick is a good hit there. Turn pick is quite wounded at the moment, and M2 is raining on it. Plus, the need for mortar sort of out not really needed thanks to the fact that he has M2s on the field. Another thing you can get is uh, M10s, which never hurts to have more M10s in this situation. You know, a sniper actually still alive? Or that maybe a fresh one? Two kills? Let's get us a VP captured, so it's now counting down in his favor. Munitions also fish post does go down. He's going to have 43 munitions per minute income. He does have 150. Production is now at double time. He has only one ability left, the off map combat group. And I think, yeah. Either right now go for the off map combat group or for another Sherman. Another pack 38. He's looks like he may have got one decrewed over here. Maybe full destroyed. Now. Nope, he does have two. They're just split up. There we go. Now they're together. Does that stay when I go between players? Yes. <laughs> Got red units in this control group. Control group. Blah. blah. I speak. Huh. Now we can sniff out those mines. I just thought of something what I could do. If I need to keep track of certain units, I could perhaps put them in control group, add opponents and opponent units into the control group, and then let's see if I click on that, hold shift, click on this. Yep, now it's mixed. I could perhaps do that ways and try to keep the snipers selected. Because oh, in case a sniper gets severely wounded, I perhaps can click on a sniper. Switch between the players. Yes, sir. I'm ready to close and boom, now I have both snipers on the queue, so I can keep a track of how many snipers both players have. Keep that in mind for later. Could be useful. M2 are raining on in. I wonder, does it keep veteran C selected? I switch over. Yep, I can see the uh, vectorcy. Squad, 
Plus he's starting to salvage some of the carcasses. Very nice. The US player has enough munitions for off conf or off at our artillery barrage. Does get a second Sherman tank in the field. Very nice. You know, sniper creeping his way forward. But if he gets spotted, he's dead. He is almost dead. Did he spot him earlier? Just get me the shot. He does go down there. Another off a power shoot raining on in. I was even paying attention, but I wonder if he got spotted earlier. Got it there under the engineers. Pioneers got knocked around a little bit as well. <laughs> Sherm picks up, push the way forward. Finds a miss there. Finds a hit there. And it's the Pentrick that's kept at the sector. Good hits there. And now the Grenadier is falling back. May get wiped out by the Sherman tank. One more shot potentially? Nope. Third Sherman tank being pulled in field. At this point in time, maybe a good idea to go for the Sherman smoke. Does find the uh, U.S. landmine. Does fall back there. And maybe a good idea for the rifle squad to charge forward to strike the VP. Rather than go for the sector, he doesn't need the extra population space. But if he charges forward the rifle squad, he can spot stuff for the Sherman tanks to shoot at. For sure, a Sherman up on view. We also got flanking riflemen. I don't. Have we seen sticky bombs yet this game? I don't think we've actually seen sticky bombs yet, have we? He may have a research, very likely has a research, but I don't think we have seen any deployment of a sticky bomb. Engineers moving around. Engineers do to eat that. German takes advance. We've got one pack 38 here. He does have enough munitions for off-pack power shoot. He may have been waiting to advance until he gets that ability available. Backing on off now. <clears throat> M2 is trying to barrage that pack. Engineers are in the region for repairs. Rock Squad's probably should just advance forward to capture the VP. And I for the victory condition. That structure does go down. Shrimp tank taking out the wire. Shrimp tank charges way forward. There's only fine against shoes. So he doesn't really need 76 millimeters. Just have to try to get the rear armor. Off a of power shrimp rain on this one here. Rolls a miss. Needs the rifle squad's charge forward to hit that pack 38. Right now. In the Sherman tanks may hit the Pac 38s, not the Stu's, because the Pac 38s pose a threat to the Sherman tanks. The Sherman tank is charging right into his opponent's base. This Sherman tank does go down. Rifle Squad is not the way forward. Only Rifle Squad is just in the eye for the VP. You've got stun grenades now being cast by this Volks. And he will be tracked, and he will splash the other Rifle Squad. And after the Stu's engage the Rifle Squad, getting ripped apart there. Sherman tank takes shots down the folks and deers, and the rifle squads are falling back. Relatively poor control, I'd say, overall. Sherman tank has plenty of health here. Tries trying to get some damage on the Kriegs barracks. Do not have the pounds of command. We may be deploying something out. Yes, it is deploying something out. Panther? Panther. It's just got the BP. Metric squad takes some hits, and did get a hit in return. Ether now being, has been pulled on out of the field. But it's there. 
And the Sherman tank may go down this camouflage pack 38. And Sherman tank does spot it. He may not be paying attention to this region. Sherman tank may escape on out of there. Over here, Jazz. Folks are there, so MP4s can take them out. And stun grenades to count those units. Does find a landmine there, destroying the engine. And does go down the pack 38. Rifle squads getting annihilated. Great engagement there. Volkswagen have all the models, so they took no losses. Though they need to not run forward into the base MGs. Sherman tank not getting repaired on up. Sniper does get hit there onto the engineers. Got Kushtu and now Panther. So the Vermont composition is excellent. Though, maybe a little bit lacking infantry, but it does have a good number. Has to have a sniper on the field as well. Is that an additional M2? Nope, that's still just the same two M2s. Right this general region, armors advancing with the uh, Grenadiers. Contract does roll in this. Good hit there. Resources for this are now available. Veteran CK. Sherman tank taking some severe damage. And there goes Sherman tank. We are losing ground. Just sniper in this region. Oh, we got the MP40 bolts push to force back these units once again. The crack cocaine panther. No more pans of chocolate for them. Just the white powdered donuts. More carcasses being salvaged. He has plenty of munitions for manpower blitz. As always, give you a manpower. Uh, always gives you more manpower than you lose over the minus fifty percent. So, in my opinion, you should always go for it if you want munitions to be spent. Yep, your sniper gets counter snipe there. Very nice. U.S. player is just disintegrating. I think the U.S. player may have backed out of the game. Yep, looks like he's AFK. And yep, does back out of the game. This having a great scene. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay. And I am going to use the restroom. I'm probably going to do a 2v2 next, so I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to let you mouse over this stuff and let me know if you which one you want to see me to do first. Okay, I'm going to use the restroom. Please give me one moment. Sorry about that. I'm back. All recent replays show how useful mines are to kill snipers. Yep. Uh, let's do this one here.
Greetings everyone, and Grid here for another couple of heroes to one brief play. Spawn on the left side as the US forces, we have I am Magno. Spawn as the other US forces, we have Savico88. Spawn as the Panzer Elite player who selected the Scorched Earth doctrine, looks like. We have X or Zamom. Zam -om. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And Spawn as the other Panzer Elite player who does not appear to select that doctrine immediately. We have Frout. And he is going straight down south. He may be on the capture. Oh, is he booby trapping first? I have a feeling he may be booby trapping first. I don't see the flag going on up, so it looks like he is booby trapping. Just me focus here. And he must have pinged somewhere. And he's going to join him. Looks like the US uh this US player is not hiding kite up north. We're going to head down over here. And then grad here. That's going to capture this side of the map. We do have... Oh, support weapon center. 30 cal. So we got a different opener here. Howdy. You said, I just read the re description. You said it was a good replay. Nope. Uh, Gamesreplay.org. And a whole bunch of question marks from somebody's whispering. Don't ghost me. What is that? I know this is sent. I have curiosity. I've always been curious how the new meta. Oh, talking about the incendiary trap. Uh, I was curious if the whispers. Uh, if it's the sender or the one who uploaded the replay, or is it the just all, any person that got received a whisper? Uh, uh, any player in the game gets the whispers. Volksgren or Panzer Grandiers moving around. Do you have the 30 cal straight forward? Uh, a little bit too aggressively. Maybe trying to get inside the garrison. Yeah, let's try and get inside the garrison. Jeep roaming around. Yeah, quite a bit of Panzer Grandiers in the region. He's asking his teammate to push. Jeep is here to support him. You upload the wrong game. Oh. Well, uh, the MG does back out of the game, so you lied in your uh, description, eh? Aspen Air takes some, it's taking some damage on the Jeep, we do now have the mission sector now captured on up. Engineers moving around, Panzer Grenadiers moving all across the center of the map. We're losing a strategic sector. Be engaging the Captain Grad now. And we got these Pentagoners hitting down south. Engineers falling back with the Jeep. Jeep's almost dead. Needs some repairs. No engine crits, so he's able to drive on out of there. We have rifle squad engineers pushing down south with the US sniper and engineers. He's having trouble meeting them front line without riflemen. And Jeep does go down. Rock squad nice and close. Flame thrower close enough. US sniper now engaging. Times of Grandiers have taken some hits. The G43 squad may get wiped out. MG needs to set on up. Protect the sniper from getting overran. Trying to focus on the sniper. Almost gets wiped out. Four models here. One. Two of these models must have no health remaining. One of the weakened models do go down. Sniper gets hit over here. This your sniper taking some damage. 30 cal does not get wiped out. Both these Pennsylvania is falling back. More snipers gain some bleed up on the street. Oh, here got the rifle squad and engineers now running forward to engage the Pennsylvania. This. Engineer does fall back. <clears throat> Rhyme Squad dancing around the Panzer Deers. Not time for square dancing. And now the Panzer Grenadiers falling back. Good Enemy hit. Unit and there's down. a full wipe. Uh, looks like one US player is not liking their outcome at the moment. 
We are losing a munition sector. Very cal here, true awesome of being built. Barracks going on up. Could maybe replace and rather than going for a uh, rifle money, you could do I for airborne or rangers. But he probably doesn't have enough command points for rangers and airborne is a doctrine that people don't really like all too much. Sniper ready to get in this thing. Uh, rifle squad can capture that fuel sector, or the rifle squad can fall back. One of the two. Do do now the cannon grab capture that sector. It does get airborne available. No doctor sucker just yet. Answer your command. Will just this company now be employed on out? A rifle squad behind some heavy cover Sector there. Being captured. The Nicola, William, weapons and ammo. Two to two moving around, and they don't have any counter in these light vehicles. <clears throat> Airborne squad now dropping on in. Snipers here, gotta keep be careful. Rifle squad just to try to fight out from the heavy cover. Engineers are decides to die in open cover. Trying to decapture the sector, probably won't get it at the current rate. Snipers find a shotgun 2 to 2. May need to get these armor piercing rounds loaded, which will be also munitions not for our coolest rifles. Booby trap here. Let's take a look at everybody else. We do have something pulled out here. Sticky bombs, very necessary. Four rifle squads, two engineers. As lead player number one, this is the one who does not have a doctor selection yeah. just yet. Uh, more two to two is now be on the build queue. I always say you can either you can probably go for two to two or five. Though well, here's going to be four. Booby trap has been triggered. Booby trap has been triggered. <clears throat> Sniper's perfect four, maybe trying to take out these black Irvings. His teammate does, of course, have Scorched Irv. Does have four man squads as well. I like seeing that upgrade. Landmine floating out. Does not get found. Rival squad, maybe we'll get a sticky bomb here. I'm pretty sure it's sticky bomb research is still being researched. He does have it researched. I don't think he is responsive enough to get the sticky bomb at the moment. There we go. Now he's charging forward. And there's sticky bomb. Nope, does not get it thrown. <clears throat> does get tank traps here, so can't blitz out through this direction, but does blitz up that road. We have a Two going down, down. 30 cal having trouble firing. Close rifles get some hits there. STG squad does get some good damage on 2 2. He may lose the 30 cal. Boop trap has been triggered. Rolls a miss. Fires it up. Another airborne squad dropping on in. Does use the engineer to recapture the MG. There goes the 2 2. And now we've got the Pentagoners falling in back. Got two to two here, two to two here, another two to two here. They re really need to get out the para drop AT gun as soon as he can. He could try for armor piercing rounds with 30 cal. Don't know if that's going to be useful because he's almost dead. Good damage here on these two to twos. One for each player. Airborne squads firing away. Another got a landmine being built on hell. Roll some misses there. Rolls Rack is not like the most accurate weapons against the two twos. And there are so many of them. Does recapture the 30 cal. Does get some hits on this one. But no killing blows. There's damage into crit. Oh, there must be the armor piercing rounds. 
and defense crews are doing some good work. Both of those down. Third one goes down. Third and cow gains some damage. He may have arm piercing rounds active. Almost goes down. He gets some good suppression at least. Demolition charges? Okay. I was not expecting that. Finds on that landmine he deployed out earlier. He's fighting everything. Pads of Grenadiers is going to get pinned down. Third and cow is starting to get the crew. Has reposition. Trying to hit the interpret. I really think he should go for the M180 gun. Another move trap isn't triggered. This one here. Third cow has been decrewed. This airborne squad needs to takes out that to the two. They definitely paid for themselves. So. Those was the airborne squad. SG's overrunning these forces. These guys need to fall back. They're actually not retreating back. Airborne squad not falling back. I wonder if they bug. Uh, I'm not sure what he's saying to his teammate. Airborne engaged. Sound off, airborne. Rally on me. I guess his teammate may have been a bit idle, been a little bit uh sidetracked. It's a new trap there. Got a good number of riflemen. Another 2 2 now pulling out. No, that's a 2 2 1. And 2 2 1 goes down. The 2 2 2 2s are getting repaired on up. Another boot trap's been triggered. Aircraft does get shot down. Another two, two goes down. They need to retreat on back. Got efficiency two. Yep, he should. Oh, nope. He does get uh, leashed back to the leader. Pretty many these. Yeah, that's a large boat. Aircraft drawing some fire there. Oh, did he use that aircraft just to draw fire from the two to twos? Does find landmine there, destroyed the engine crit. And this one may go down. Trying to focus down this one here. Base MG's firing away. Enemy unit. That one does go down. Got some armor exposed on this one. Takes a lot of extra damage. No engine They're crit, however. Oh, no, there's Trying another landmine there. The uh, does not find it. There's another landmine here. <laughs> oh what is this game the Pazley player this wood has pants grandeurs a healthy number stop going for two to twos they're not barely working <laughs> Our supply lines are i swear people don't know how to change the compositions if you lose there, you want to know the AC, AC uh, armor cars? There's two more. <laughs> Another airborne squad because they are working. I'm just going to leave it at that. His teammate has a 2 2 1 on the field. At this point in time, Panzer Force C is probably a better option, but if the 2 2s are not working, just don't go for anything more. Two AECs, yep. An open air mass grave. Got a damage engine crit there. Two, two, push way forward. Why didn't you give up fuel, telling that to ask their opponents? That's the northern flank. Well, they 
I've lost quite a bit, honestly. This dude does go down. Do now have a Hellcat with a 50 cal on the field. Not sure the 50 cal is really necessary. But it never hurts you. Unless you lose the munitions. Armored Doctrine now selected. Armored Company. You got the rifle squad straight forward. Don't kill. We are losing a sector. He wants to capture the Flak Irving. We have another mortar off track. Yes, sir. Two, two, there. one Enemy goes down. I think this player's just idle right now, or a little bit slow. Black Irving now pulling the field, ripping apart the armor, the mortar half track, and they do get popped out here, so they will be spawn killed. Two, two, blitzing his way forward. Can't do much versus the Hellcat. It's Pinto Mount is rotating around, which actually is Pinto Mount rotates are pretty slow. I just realized. Pretty much over. Then, uh, yep, one player back to the game. That game was. That game was so stupid. That. That game's stupid. Nothing. How did those sniper. Uh, the airborne squad should not have done that well. In fact, airborne squads tend to be pretty unreliable versus uh, armored cars, the 2 2 2s. But somehow they just worked. Let's see now. Let's just go for this one. Greetings everyone, and great here. Another copy rose one replay. It's on the right side as the Wehrmacht forces. We have Dennis the Menace. It's one as his teammate, the Wehrmacht ally. We have ESFESF, which on my keyboard, those are all in a line. But it'll be D is in the middle between the S and the F. Either way, as the US forces, we have Pepperidge. He does, of course, remember. And as his teammate, we got Max who gets a minus one range on his indirect units and specialized in direct fire units. Wehrmacht quarters completed. Wehrmacht quarters now pulling on the field, going for some Volks Grenadiers. Pioneers here! Volks Grenadiers, probably Volks Grenadiers, could be for MG42. Fuel point being captured on up. Got this munition sector being captured on up, as well as the strategic point. <clears throat> this uh, pioneer or engineer eyeing for this fuel point now. These engineers eyeing for this munition sector. And this munition sector is now captured. Rifle squad deployed on out. All additional rifle squads on the way may. Nope, this one's not being has not been routed on the map. Bit of oversight. We may see a good number of riflemen squads. That's to be assumed. We are ready. I'm not sure what I'm thinking right now. I'm just trying to say stuff, and I'm my mind just going blank. Motorcycle point being pulled on the field, and over here, something. Do have an MG42, not a Volksgrenadiers. Rifle Squad does force back the Pioneers, no problem. Up here, got Volkswagen's force back the Engineers, no problem. And over here, got the Engineers and Pioneers, the mortal enemies. Motorcycle heading up north, finding some shots there on that Rifleman. Oh, 
over here, I've got the Pioneers move around, MG42 in this region. I've got these engineers as well. Engineers and Pioneers engaging each other. <coughs> Pioneers now falling on back. We do have these pioneers taking a bit of damage. Folks grenadiers straight forward. Rifle squad taking some fire there. Rifle squad does get suppressed. Taking quite a bit of damage right there, that rifle squad, but right now Sign just sim complete, simply overran. Most cycles trying to find some fire support, but having trouble actually just line up a shot. M242 setting up there, does pack on up, just may want to stay set up and engage these forces here. Yeah, really poor control by the M242, could have got some good bursts over here. Engine now is for four, both windows take some damage, the defense crews getting some damage with the advancing engineers, the engineers squad make it wiped up. Bunk going up, likely for a repair for recovery bunker. The engineer may go down. It did in fact get wiped out. Jeep charges way for Trying to engage the motorcycle. Motorcycle's almost damaged. Trying to trying to flank the MG now. Engineers push forward by taking too much damage. Engineers do fall back. Represents behind some heavy cover there. Now I've got the flame engineers charging way forward. Jeep knocking around these units. Getting some good damage there onto the MG42. That was before capture recovery bunker. MG does get the crew. This folks can hear the squad does fall back entirely. Rack squad tries to play forward. Now I've got the MG42 over here. Push way forward. He needs to push forward with the folks from He's still getting a little ran. And he does steal his opponent's MG42. Should actually escape on out of there. It does get the full wipe on that Grandiers as folks Grandiers as well. There's a number of casualties in this region. Actually, just the one looks like just that guy there. Folks from there should not have been captured with EP. They shouldn't have been fighting over here. His, mode, his teammate lost quite a bit. Let's have a snipe on the field. The motorcycle needs to be pushing way forward. Let's <clears throat> take out both medics there, so not even going to get a single casualty. But that pretty good defense there, being 2v1. Pioneer's trying to lay down landmine now. M242 pushing way forward. As we built that MG42, we'll have to take out that, see that landmine being built. And now everything's falling in back. We are losing ground. Pioneers take a bit of damage there. Sniper gains some hits there onto the MG. And the MG does go down. The enemy is seizing our territory. Skirmish phase is now complete. What do you want? Get this bike going. Rifle squad pushes way forward. We already have a rifle squad in this fuel sector. We've got this MG rotating around with full yes, extenders. We may want to just plant this MG in a defensive position to help keep this area secure. Now the MG is getting flanked by the one that was on top of the fuel sector. In his full withdrawal, he's about to lose the squad. Full extenders push way forward. Got bar right from the squads, and he's not retreating back to the squad in, in any way. Entirely. Flamethrower engineers gains good damage from the folks engineers falling back now. And all these folks falling back as well. Cypher does get a shot there. And all these forces taking some damage. In fact, the sniper could go down. Americans are capturing a sector. They're losing territory. Jeep does go down to the Panzerfaust. We've already got an MG42 over here, and it's also MG42 here. 
This one has been recaptured. These one are Volks in your models. They did find an opportunity to recapture the MG. Sniper still alive. Got these forces pushed me forward. He did lose that one MG. And a Pioneer, Singler, is trying to rebuild the or build the Comcraft Center. Rapid Squad does express and force them back. Volks can push me forward. The rifle squad's just soft retreating away. He has some engineers, another rifle squad up here. He is quite bad at bruised and beaten. He needs a triage center sooner rather than later. Folks Grandiers charging their way forward, or his way forward. Rifle squad does get suppressed there. We do now have the engineers being forced back. We got some good damage down the riflemen. The rifle squad's falling back, almost dead, with three members alive. Rifle squad taking some damage there. And good hit there onto that MG. Oh. Heard a landmine detonation somewhere. Down here, I'm guessing the pioneers. Blue is now recaptured the northern side of the map. We do have this point captured on up. We do have support weapon center, barracks, supply yard, no upgrade in supply yard. We also did deploy on the field. We've been needing those medics. Rifle squads push away forward. Let's find some good suppression there. We do have now the sniper firing away. He's a good shot there on the MG. The enemy he is planning a landmine still here, which his opponent may, be, may have spotted. Everything there does fall back. Pack 38 now plowed on the field. Rock from the squad does take some damage. Up here, we do not have the half track. Damage engine on the half track. He does get some collateral damage to that landmine. And he will maintain suppression there. We've got more rifle squads and flame engineers to record. Postmaners wipes out that flame engineer. This rifle squad is pretty close to being wiped out as well. It does fall back. Motorcycle now engaging. We're seeing some damage. Half track creeping away. I don't know if the rear MG can suppress. I know the frontal one can. Motorcycles down. He has a pioneer in the inside and pioneer here. He has access to repairs. Not whether or not he can get the repairs is another thing. Veteran you receive one. Infantry squad is now up on the field. Giving his folks and some grenadiers. Veteran receive one. Gunner killed crit there, and, and the other gunner killed crit there. They're losing territory. And mostly just gonna get gunned down. Well right Pioneers use the uh, U five one as a way to retreat. Damage engine the crit there, no death crit at the moment. Grenadier is now engaging. Another Grenadier now pulled on the field. Sniper shots from raining on in, and he does take time to throw a sticky bomb, which should get the kill. And there he goes. <clears throat> Volks Grenadier is pretty poor. Got a bit of heavy cover there. Shimmenwagen now engaging. He does have a landmine here, M42 firing away. Fortune gains a good suppression. Rather, Grandier is pretty forward as well. Both do manage to keep on out. Medics, maybe grabbing casualties. Yeah, I've got a casualty there. Multiple casualties there. And they shall expire there as well. Settle landmines. <coughs> 
caractère. Ready to assign to capture these flanks. We do now have a rifleman heading to the munitions sector. Sorry about that, my nose is starting to run. Engineers taking some hits there. We got a landmine there. I wonder if it's fully built. It may not be fully built. It was fully built. And the mice were just simply too far away. Do now the rifle squad taking some damage there from the MG42. Does have fetch C2 infantry now? Sniper shots are raining on in. Support infantry will now be employed on out as well. Lamb engineers. He's the from the grenadiers. Also, multiple rifle squads here. The grenadiers do fall back. Rifle squad heading up the hill. Will be engaged by the grenadiers. Stick grenade throw, which may blow up some zone grenadiers. It just splashes them a little bit. Next grenadier squad does fall back there. Actually, one support unit's now complete. We got another Wehrmacht landmine here. No mines for this region. He may get two squads with this. It's gonna hurt. It does get some good damage there. And falls back all of the units. With more landmines being employed on out. Do have now the engineers playing down some more wire. Actually, they may be trying to cut it. They do cut a bit of wire. More landmines being employed on out. <clears throat> detail complete. Gun crew ready. Oh. He did see him trying to salvage the carcass, so he may not be aware of this landmine right there. In which the sniper looks like it's going to head to the landmine. Maybe not going to head to the landmine, but he can still be splashed by it. We got a minesweeper here. And Sherman tanks. He does spot the landmine there, and the engine right sniper's like, oh crap. There's another landmine here, which he could find as well. Nope, the Sherman tank's gonna find it. Nope, the sniper's gonna. Nothing find it. <laughs> he... the, land... the landmine scored a 7 10 split. Pioneer down. On... And the. No, nothing finds it. Sherman take first way forward. Grenadiers there. One casualty is to remain to get a free squad. Got a landmine here. Pioneers push way forward. There's a landmine here. Does find that one. There's the. There's actually two snipers there. We have a Keep an eye on those land, uh, snipers. Folks, Grenadiers taking some damage. Do fire some shots there. Look at that landmine. Rifle squad's falling back. They will not find that landmine. The snipers may find the landmines. Sorry, it happens way too often where I find a sniper finding a landmine. Oh, wait. That's a US landmine. It is still very possible. Don't see any landmines over here. We've got plenty of tank traps. So the Sherman's tanks will have trouble. Actually, there is a little Wehrmacht landmine there. The snipers may find this landmine. The Sherman tank will likely not find it. The snipers are going straight for that landmine. I know it's a conflict up here. It looks like this. But the snipers. Pack 38 gets hit there. Instructed by the Grendir, actually, not the pack, the pack 38. And we got the pack of beast bug there. Does get a shot there and does wipe out the pack 38. And do you fall back? May find this landmine here. Nope, he does. Actually, the Sherman tank will find it. And that would probably fill out the Sherman tank. Nope, the Sherman tank does not find it. How? <laughs> it's a good spot for a landmine if he's walking all around it. Got a Wehrmacht landmine here. Grenades has been thrown. Got more landmines up here. This US player does not have any mines to region. So he's going to explode multiple times. He does have a Sherman tank of his own. So it's like both players gone for Shermans. Oh, finds this landmine there. It's not that one. <clears throat> yep. Veterans engaged. 
There's so many landmines on the field. I love it. I think mines are actually over are underrated, and everybody think they're thinks they're good. <laughs> so I think them being considered good is underrated. Does the class clean up that landmine there? He may find this landmine here. Oh, he finds a landmine with a rifle from the squad. So no snipers exploding to it. We've got a Wehrmacht sniper up here. <clears throat> U.S. snipers are pushing forward. We're losing a sector. Assault phase now complete. May get a wipe there? No, it does not. Snipers push way forward. I don't see any landmines in front of them. Trying to get some on the grenadiers. One of them have venture C1, or both of them are venture C1 now. Does find this landmine there. I wonder how easily can uh engineer de uh, sweep it. Term tank pushed way forward. Knock around the Volkswagen preventing them from retreating. That's a U.S. landmine there. Oh, war from Barrage, which may blow up this landmine, and thus the snipers. Landmines do get exploded. Snipers wounded. Another thing exploded there. Another Wehrmacht landmine here, which the rifle squads will find. They're trying to hunt down this Pac-38. This may explode the Pac-38 a little bit. It's one squad pin. No losses there. Wehrmacht sniper here. Grandier is rotating around, activate trying to run away. Looks like the will get decrewed. Got another cash recovery bunker here, this time from the other player. Grenade's been thrown, gets a good hit. No doctrine selected just yet. He's going for the battle phase. So he has the war from half track, which means he probably has gone for battle phase. I cannot hear safe. And also, with the amount of Sherman tanks on the field, like, both player, US players has two Sherman tanks. A Panther probably wouldn't be half bad. Or engage Shermans with Panzer IVs, making more of a fair fight. Or from half-track firing a barrage. Sherman tanks for straight forward, gets a damage on the Pac-38. Pac-38 gets overran by the Sherman tanks. Warfront Barrage now raining on in. These Sherman tanks have taken severe damage, especially one of them. These Sherman tanks push right forward. The uh, focus down the Pac-38 does receive some pack, uh, pan strike fire. And 42 does get the crew. Pac-38 sitting on up, does get a hit there. One sniper does fall back there, the Wehrmacht sniper. May find a landmine there. Note that's a US landmine, which actually may not be fully built. Okay, I'm not sure how the Knights Cross Hoarders didn't find it. Got repairs there. One US player's gone for armor. It is the one of two Shermans. And the other player of two Shermans has also gone for armor, so... Reserves if they have two Sherman fields, course. they have gone for armor. But this place in personnel is a third Sherman, a Sherman Calliope. We got a landmine here by the Fairmont player. If they're going... For Sherman tanks, in my opinion, it's better go for field repair. It's hard to actually get your Shermans killed off since they take five shots rather than three shots from them compared to, say, M10s. Grenade has been thrown. Very wounded, so does get wiped out. I think he had medical supplies active on him as well. MP4 is now trying to overrun this rifleman squad. This Fairmont player has selected Blitzkrieg. Has a uh, nice cross holders on the field, multiple MGs, a Calliope receiving or getting damage onto the Pack 38. Has a medic there, has no catches recovered at the moment, so the Grenadier is recent. Pack 38 will get overran by the rifleman. Got 30 cal placement here, and the Minesweeper squad does fall back, but it does find that mine. Sherman takes up his way forward. 
does have, of course, the Panzer Command up and going. I do think he should go for a, like one of these players should go for a Panther at the Mount Sherman's of the field. In fact, if both players go for a Panther, it's probably not a bad idea. There's just so many Shermans. His teammate does have the battle phase or the Panzer Command. Those is a Sherman tank there. He goes to a sniper or the Pack 38, not to a landmine. This Pack 38 does get overran. More Sherman Tank sits here. Does activate Allied War Machine, so other Sherman Tank may have been recovered. Fresh Grandeur from the bunker. You will get a couple casualties returned. War from Embrage raining on in. Yeah, they definitely need some AT. Panther on the way. Teammate has a Panther on the way. Perfect. Two Panthers is exactly what they need. Also, perhaps run down the Sherman Clyde piece, which they both have gone for. Registry 1 now tanks for his Panthers. Looks Craig has been selected and his teammate has not selected a doctrine dress yet. Bunker down. MP4 is charging the way forward, trying to displace this rifleman. And Shrek now upgraded. Panther complete. He does also have Adventure one as well, so we've got two Vet-1 Panthers on the field. Is that, uh, I guess that, uh, oh, that, uh, Pac-38 just landmine. It was destroyed the Pac-38 there. Panther pushed me forward, not receiving 5 in Rocket Barrage, but I think a Pioneer squad went down there, a Volk's Grenadiers. Trim takes getting hit. Panther is pushing me forward. Another Panther Barrage running in. This Panther has taken some damage. And one Sherman Tank does got control. A body block there. Poor control. They're blocking each other. Allied well, War Machine now active for this player. He may just be suicidal in return. There's a couple bounces there. As Crossword is pushing me forward. Droid engine crit. He could just try hitting the other one now. Maybe try to time it out. Main gun short crit there. He's trying to kill it, but... He actually may not get the kill. Or get it recovered. He's forced to find the ground. And there we go. Now kill it. Very nice. He has a permanently dead Sherman there. That's crossroad is now falling on back. He may be eyeing for another Calliope. They do have plenty of munitions at the moment. Or at least this player has. His teammate has even more munitions. BP is in favor of the allies, but that's going to be equalized out relatively soon. We've got engineers and rifle squads heading up north. We're losing a munitions point. Air war from barrage. Five your rocket barrage ring on in. Hitting this panther a little bit. Losing ground. We gotta have a Hellcat here. War from barrage missing a whole lot. And this panther is just sort of skirmishing around. This grenade squad needs to fall back relatively soon. And the barrage here. Now I got this engineer falling back. Losing ground out there. Grand is now falling back. <clears throat> Taking fire. 
Pack 38 pushing the way forward. I think the Pack 38 has been quite severely damaged because look at that, the gun is quite blackened. Serious. It's being repaired on up, so that Pack 38 has seen quite a bit of action. Panther's back on call. Let's use the Pack Abuse Bug. That was get overran a little bit. Allied War Machine will be active. Main got a short crit there. Destroyed engine crit, so he's really disabled. Panther's almost dead, out of control there. M10s charging me forward. Good number. There's a lot of M10s. Panther will go down. And there goes the Panther. Took quite a bit of shots there. One Hellcat has gone down. Both Hellcats gone down. Pack 3 has gone down. They sneak through. And the carcass here is in the way. More Hellcats moving forward. They got a short crit there. Apply the Rock Barrage gained some damage. Observation post now complete. <coughs> there is a landmine there which he does not find. He does hold back the whole screen and all of his forces trying to let the landmine do its work. He stops right in front of the landmine. I didn't get hit, didn't hit the landmine. Panther rotating around. That turret has been hit quite a bit. Need some hits there. Panthers moving their way forward. At this point in time, the Mount Orm are seeing more Panthers maybe in order. I uh, what does this player has gone for? He has gone for terror. But the Mount of Armor they're fighting could be a good idea. They actually probably would have been for a go with defense for the Flak 88s. Pack 38 taking some damage there. As well as better the Panther. Folks, Grenadiers and Grenadiers straight forward. More Clyde rockets ringing on in. Folks, Grenadiers and nice crossroads straight forward. Does suppress the riflemen. This is a good number of vehicles to say the least. And one sniper's still alive from when I was, did that. Science Panther needs to fall back. Who's Panther is here? We got field repair now active by one of the US players. There's just so much armor. Warp and half wreck may go down. Panther getting distracted. Panther needs to keep on running. And needs to push on forward, try to get more of your armor. Let's take some hits there. This Panther just engaging. Can't do much to save his team as Panther. Just help it get more damage done. But somehow the Panther does go down. Grandiers now falling back. Pack 30 has been recruited. Grandiers need to fall back. Both Grandiers trying to get overran, so it's nice cross holders. Those little flat cats also. That's not a good idea at this moment in time. And more of the pack abuse bug there. YP Rocket Barrage gain some damage. And they really want that pack 38 down. Gain some hits on the Sherman Calliope's. They're losing territory. <clears throat> An elite heavy panzer has arrived in our reserve. King Tiger, Colonix Tiger now available. That was taking up that crew there. Now the Clive here, Rocket Barrage ring on in, gets damage on to the MG. We are losing ground. 
What are your orders? Over here, do now the two Panthers push way forward, which is something you don't see often from Wehrmacht. Usually that's something you see from the Panzer Elite. Dark vs. C2, so may one eye for squeeze out some veteran C3. His teammate does have the Colonic Steaker now on the field. I thought so, Flag Panzer also. Maybe I got the icon mixed up. I must be going crazy. <clears throat> He's at pop cap, so may want to squeeze out veteran C3 if he can. Now got the rifle squad falling back. Our squad does fall back there. We got the armor for four. The M10s are getting some good hits on the Panther. We got this Pack 30 has a shooting gun in front of him. And we see quite a bit of damage from the fly IP. Panthers need to keep on falling back with this M10 uh, Pack 30 here. One Panther does go down. Man got a short crit there, it doesn't have to worry about facing him off, but the gun, of course, is busy microing rather than targeting. Panther sustaining massive damage. So back him off. King Tiger, I'm not sure where he's at the moment. King Tiger's right there. And Helicopter's go down. Panther stays alive. Pack 38 here, needs to rotate around. Tiger making some good shots off. Hellcat pushes the way forward. Up here we got this. Hellcat, field repairs there. Allied War Machine, there goes the Panther. Pretty close to death. Getting some shots on the War for men. King Tiger trying to engage the M10s. King Tiger has plenty of health. Pack 38 rotating around. No only landmines there. King Tiger rolls and miss. These forces are running around. May want to get some pa uh, pants of fouls. Looks like the M10 up here. Or the Hellcat over here went down. The M10 taking some damage. Pack 30 here, fresh Sherman tank. Maybe recover from Allied War Machine. Pack 30 engaging the Sherman tanks. The Tiger rotating around. M10 like to go down. M10 does go down. War from half track. May go down the fly through Rocket Garage. King Tiger taking some damage, not advancing. Act 38 is going to go down, and the War from Half Track stays alive. The amount of armor here sort of stockpile, sort of choke point up. Another Clive here, Rocket Barrage, taking out the Pack 38. That was going to pin there on the Hellcat. King Tiger rotating around. Guns out of range. Campaign initiated. Firestorm now available. Veteran C1, a light vehicle is going to go field, probably for the uh, M1, or not M1, Pack 38. As right now, going for war from half tracks is simply not a good idea. Alpha guns are still alive. Rifle squad and other cat moving around. Does throw a grenade there. Gets a good hit. They're losing territory. Rifle squad getting some damage here on the Grenadier. Calibrating range Rock squad straight forward. Grenadier squad does fall back. More Clyde your rocket barrage is raining on him. And more war from barrage in this region. Another Clyde your rocket barrage raining on him. King Tiger can be repaired up by the repair bunkers. Everything else is getting annihilated. War from half track is at full health. And somehow dodges almost every single rocket barring one. Still got quite a bit of armor there. They need more Pack 38. I don't think Panthers will be good since they can easily get crushed and knocked around. Sniper being engaged. Got still some landmines up here for the Vermont player. Trying to draw them to a landmine now. 
does actually avoid all the landmines, so the sniper may actually get wiped out. One of our snipers is down. Give me infectiousy too. Uh, Tiga Panzer could be very useful. He has a Vector C2 Tiga Panzer support up by a Vector C2 tank or a Panther. Five here, Rocket Barrage raining on in. Keys and opponents, map hacks. Mm, maybe. Can't really say for sure. Missions. Observation post does go down. Pershing now deployed on the field as well. He has also given him a Hellcats and a Shred 2 Sherman tank here for These infantry. Oh, not least the US engineers and Knights Cross holders. Warframe Barrage gains some damage from the various vehicles. Mostly the Sherman tank. Fly here, Rock Barrage right now in. I think these needs to be pushed forward pretty quickly because the Panther is taking up use. There's a the Tiger Tank. Allied War Machine now active. This person has so much armor. Five Rock Barrage softening up the US tanks. Panthers barely alive. Tiger Tank taking some damage. King Tiger oh, moving around to engage. Tiger Tank taking massive hits. Panther just trying to stay alive. Tiger Tank takes some severe damage. He's now the uh, Panther on the field. Game should crit the other Tiger Tank. So much armor. Uh, Firestorm? Firestorm can hit vehicles. I think a Firestorm right there would be very useful. Tiger Tank engaging. Team Tiger. Got a bunker tank going on the field. Maybe trying to block vision block spawn. Main of a short crit there. Trying to get the and there goes the Tiger Tank. Team Tiger still has plenty of health. Double pan strike there from this grenadier gets a good hit. Hellcat back in on up. All these forces push right forward, including a no gun 10 10 which goes down. Panther still alive and firing away, so he's only lost the tiger tank so far. And maybe some of the it's harder for me to tell. Pack 30 engaging, gets the Panther the Sherman tank, Clive P. Rocket Barrage, Rain on hand, trying to hit the Panther and the Warfman. They have plenty of health as Tango with. Pershing back on off with damage and crit and severely wounded. Got to drop the track here. Stuff raining on in this region. We are losing ground. I think the firestorm would have been very useful there. He has plenty of munitions for it. The Americans are capturing the sector. It's not your thing. Hey, the sign needs some repairs. We got more Vector C here. Hopefully, it's Vector C tanks. Yes, it does. That gives Panther Vector C three. I think the Panther does cost less manpower, so it's probably better to go for more Panthers at this point in time than rather going for the Tiger tank. Because right now they're having trouble with numbers. He does use manpower blitz. He is king up a Panther. I think Panthers at this point in time are. Is better choice as much as like saying oh go for a tiger tank it's generally better in this case they don't need generally better they need a specialist better specialist and anti-tank because they're not having trouble with infantry i don't think the allies even have any riflemen on the field engineers oh, i suppose there's three rifle squads in the field and panthers will do reasonably enough well versus three riflemen This this player does have 200 munitions, enough for another allied war machine. His teammate does have 345, so enough for allied war machine and for field repairs. Grandier is taking some mass pits here. I say that's a waste of a firestorm. Maybe, though, then again, keep this munitions alive, which will result in, or captured, will result in them able to bring more abilities. 
do have a ministry and observation post up here as well. Front ship. Crowds are grabbing territory. Right now they have 52 munitions per minute, so you can bring a firestorm pretty much once every three minutes. Central VP is leaving decaps for the full screen deers. And right now the VPs are very similar. Slight advantage for the US players, but that with the central VP being captured on up, that is negligible. Double pan strike pushed by forward. I am the garrison. How many windows on this side? Not sure if any of those are the cla classified windows. Looks like another bar. Do you know it's probably a really bad idea for infantry models to fire pan trucks from, from a closed base, but the black blast will kill everybody. Let's get some good hits there. Panther push right forward. King Tiger up here. Allied war machines active. Panther keeps distance. Contractors do fall back. Do you know how the US armor is quite wounded at the moment? Yeah, about half his tanks are nearly destroyed. I suppose he's pretty healthy. Even has a much three Sherman tank. May actually be worth it to get him the long barrel 76. Uh, Hellcat does not want to be that close to a Vet 3 Panther. Uh, some accusations. Can't really tell. Have not been really pin paying attention. Panthers here. Tiger tank here. So he does have three heavy losing uh, cats. This player I have selected at the moment does have pop cap issues. His teammate also has pop population cap issues. So right now they can't field anything more. But once they get the repair son, they should just attack. The Blitzkrieg player is low on manpower, has 77 manpower per minute, thanks to the manpower blitz. But it's always you always get a profit of manpower for going for manpower blitz. You should so if you're only concerned about getting man, maximizing your manpower rather than munitions, you should always click on this building when it's off full day. Remember the tanks still need repairs. And now I got these horses falling back. Does he got the bunker there? There's still these two repair bunkers left in the field. Actually, not three. That is a good number. Kind of taking some shots there. His teammate. Almost has enough munitions for a firestorm. He should. Hmm. I forget how many command points it takes the V1, but he may be very close to a V1. I don't know how well you can land a V1 against armor, but if they're really congested. It actually could have been possible. Such as that conflict right there, where I said he should use firestorm. After all, it did take a bit of time for those guys to move. So the amount of armor on the field, it is actually possible for a V1 to be useful against armor. These forces are starting to get repaired on up. Got the King Tiger getting repairs. King Tiger is now fully repaired. Tiger tank getting some repairs. Panthers are pretty healthy. One fully repaired. The other one's taking a bit more beating now. Another Panther on field. Better see one Panther. I'd say that's a good idea. Because once they break through the opponent's armor, then they take out the Calliope's. And Panthers just offer a little bit more punch than Panzer Fours. And like I said beforehand, they don't have to worry about engaging infantry all too much. We must choose a target. B1 can now be brought on in. We also have a munitions cache here, so I'm going to receive some repairs. Does spot all these units, needs a retreat. There is a US line mine there. Bunker does go down. Oh, B1 being brought on in. No, no words landing. Somewhere here. If he lands it right there, that would be a pretty good estimation. Nope. 
But the mountain tank traps there, maybe it would have been a good idea to uh, land it right there. Assuming your opponent's going to try to run forward. Of course, you know what they say about assuming. It makes an ass of you and me. One M10 does go down. This panther's taking some severe damage. Another M10 does go down. This one is dead. Fly through Rock Barrage running on in. King Tiger's here to support up the regular Tiger. And the regular Tiger tank's taking some beating. But he has plenty of help to work with. The panther here may actually go down. Does stay alive. The uh, regular Tiger tank needs to pull back. Does get a good pen there. Getting some bounces there. Another Clive Rocket Barrage from the Panther. And the M180 gun's also in Vector C2. Panther may go down. Panther does go down. But if we have this is the terror player. He still has the King game. Tiger alive. I don't see it right there. Oh, that's because I have this on its own queue. And his teammate still has a Panther and Tiger Tank alive. So yeah, so good amount of armor. Pack 38, firing away, beautiful, active. Panther to connect. Another 5 your rocket barrage ring on in. The enemy advances. The Axis players have pulled ahead in the tickets. More pack 38 shots there onto the Hellcat. Somehow it bounced that shot. I'm always surprised, like, M10s and Hellcats rarely bounce shots, but either way, we've got oh, now the rockets raining on in. He's, we'll take out the pack 38, we'll get some damage onto the Panther. He could use, potentially use a Blitzkrieg. His armor is a bit wounded. Does get another Panther on the field. So it could be a possibility. He may want to save up that manpower for actually a Blitzkrieg. Grenadiers engaging this observation post. Panther oh. taking some damage. No panic strikes and shots there. One M10 does go down. Rapid squad trying to capture the northern VP. Got these four slowly pushing way forward. Another 5 here, Rocket Barrage. Trying to Grenadiers and the Pack 38. Pack 38. Oh, Grenadiers go down and the Pack 38 goes down. Pershing gets a great hit there. He's not merely getting a man power blitz. He may be. is trying to eye for the. What's it called? Let's Krieg if possible. After all, he has a good amount of armor on the field. He does have a bit more population room. Maybe he'll squeeze out another tank of some sort. He may not have enough population housing for a Panther, but maybe... I don't know what the population housing for a Panther for. Not on top of my head. I think it's... It's 10, that would be great. 12, of course, would be too much. Another repair station. Passing resources and more repair resources is probably not a half bad idea. They're definitely going to need them. Get some more damage here. Alright, squad moving around. Got the Grenadiers pushed right forward. The engineers do fall back, or do get wiped out, fall back into the ground. Is it two on these infantry units, which not super important right now. Right now it's just the mass amount of armor they're fighting against. 
This Volk's Grenadiers have two Panda Shreks. Veteran seat gained. Special seat two light vehicles help out with Pack 38s. Is there the Pershing? The Pershing annihilates the Volk's Grenadiers of two Panda Shreks. And so the Panthers. Gaining some hits there onto the AT gun. Here comes Fly if you rock the barrage for these units. You know, actually not getting a whole lot of damage on that stuff. The Panther does take some more hits there from the AT guns. Which one does it capture Pack 38? Pershing, Sherman, and M10 engage in the Tiger tank. One M10 does go down there. Pershing sends. Receives a bounce and sends a pen. Tiger tank getting repaired on top. Another rock barrage there. Panther's a little bit too tightly clumped. He splashes a bit. One panther does go down. This panther takes some hits there. Manpower bullets activated once again. Going for another Knight's Crossroads and Venture C3 light vehicles. Really trying to get those AT gun shots. Also improve as more from half track. It's there. He's just trying to capture that scepter. The allies are running behind tickets. I think it's heading back on home, calling for more repairs. It looks like the engineers do not get the point captured, all getting annihilated. Fatherland in the glorious struggle. Honor and blood. Present this iron cross. We got quadruple US sniper on the field. Those repair pioneers are starting to go down. Trying to salvage his carcass, very nice. So it gives him some more munitions to work with for manpower blitz and for blitzkrieg. Picks up one pioneer. Sniper gets annihilated by the king tiger. One pioneer does fall back. Another Clive B rocket barrage running on in. More from half track takes some hits. Half track against the barrage. We do have some Sherman tanks. So, 75 millimeters, not 76 millimeters. And Central VP has been captured by a rifleman squad. Sniper is firing away. Howdy. Panther taking some hits there. King Tiger pushing forward. Snipers, he's I think down to one now. He's yeah, he's down to two snipers. Uh, the snipers not gonna be very useful against all the armor. Panther does go down. King Tiger and Panther push way forward. Got a good number of engineers trying to push way forward to capture that point. Another tank does go down. Clive is before. He does have enough munitions for another round of Allied War Machine. Only has one Sherman tank in the field. Here comes War from Barrage. Gains some decent damage on all these units. Another Clive from Rocket Barrage right now in. Gains some damage onto the War from Half Track. Panther is going to be repaired up by Repair Pliant by Repair Bunker. Gains some damage over here. I think firing away. It's a great hit there. Wipes out one of the engineers. And those the warp and half track does go down. Nope, oh, we got a US Lamma here. Pershing getting repaired on up. Pershing still not the F Vengeance 1. Thought he would have received Vengeance 1 by now. Grandier is pushing forward. And Rifle Squad and Grandier both throw grenades. Pineapple is more spicier than the potato masher, and both the grenadiers do fall back. Under heavy fire here. AT gun just does get the crew there. Got nice cross orders for right forward. Your snipers rotating around. The pioneers here, they just play out a good amount of wire. This area may be traversable. As cross holders falling back, as one does go down to the snipers.
mostly just Calliope's on the field. Not a whole lot of anything else. This player has plenty of manpower and fuel. Where is all this population that's being stored in? Guess he just can't pull out a good number of units. Good amount of YB rockets raining on in. The access players at this point in time, Blitzkrieg seems like more and more useful. Does use a propaganda war to force him back. That was the rest of his munitions. Not much left in the field for him. He has plenty of fuel, needs more manpower. Think about manpower. The manpower blitz is just been utilized. Wait for more knights cross holders. With a lack of heavy tanks on the field, maybe Panzer of force would be a good item. Losing a sector. Knights cross holders charge the way forward. And all these forces do fall back. Our VP does get captured by a Flamer Engineer. And we've got a 30 cal emplacement now going on up. Got a round of landmines here. Fire tank does get a good shot onto the rifleman. Panthers getting repaired on up. Next cross holders push way forward. Volkswinders heading down south to the VP and migrating south for the winter to avoid the rain of bullets. Yes, let's go with that stupid joke. We now have the M180 guns getting hit by the various heavy armor. Five piece trying to soften up, soften up the heavy armor. This uh, and is severely wounded while the Tiger tank has all the. Other Panther taking some damage. Though this Panther still has plenty of health, these other vehicles need repairs. But now it's starting to get hit pretty hard as well. And this just VP will remain control of the allies. Pershing still not efficiency one. Term tank rolls up balance. We'll receive a pen in return. Two pens. Our squad for choice four moves on I for a sticky bomb. Now that rifle squad is now falling on back. You now have the machine gun emplacement going on up over here. Another machine gun emplacement. And various forces on the center of the map. Snipers force back the grenadiers. The Vermont player right now, this one has a little bit of manpower to work with. Remember manpower blitz, so it doesn't have a lot of manpower income at the moment. Plenty of forces on the field. I mean, Vetra as well. His teammate does have enough munitions for a V1 rocket to help him zone out a VP. As pair of Panthers in the field and as well as the King Tiger still. There is a US landmine still here as well. These horses now falling back. Crack 38 rolls a bounce down the first sheet. And we've got a bit of artillery now raining on in. The other V1 being brought in. Is it right there? Five piece raining on. Firing away. The dead line right there. Bang up a short crit there on the Sherman. Does take out the machine gun emplacement. Panther can take out the Sherman, take no problem. He's not being repaired on up. And when it's gone there, civilian wound. Max cross holders being overran as well. Assuming both player, US players have supply yard upgrades. I forget to have not checked. But yep, they're both uh, upgraded all the way. A Panther takes some hits there. And I've got the nice crossword is charging the way forward as well. Nice crossword do fall back. Sniper creeping his way forward. Got some more mines here. Panther receiving a bounce there. This Panther is still getting repaired on up. Night four from the half track firing away. Maybe trying to hit the AT guns. Yeah, hit everything behind the AT guns. Splash this little bit over here as well. Tiger tank engaging the Pershing. Pershing's almost dead. No low emergency. 
Viper Rock Barrage right now. He's trying to hit the, both the Panther and the Knights Crossholders. Panther backs on off, but will stay alive. And the Tiger Tank will take out the emplacement. Another Clive, pair of Clive, Clive P Rock Barrages right now. Trying to hit the Warp and Half Tracks. Up here, do you have a Hellcat severely wounded, being pursued by the Grenadiers? I only see three models there as well. There's the fourth one. And the Panther, quite best, don't run over all the fortifications. Let the Grenadiers take it out. Down here, I've got Knights Crossroads charging away forward, trying to overrun the Flame Engineers. They are relatively successful, but they're taking some other hits there. Pershing now, Veteran C1. The Wharf and Barrage raining on in. Nice crossfires push way forward. Ready to the D capture. More artillery raining on in. Let's force back these units. Right hit there in the Volks Grenadiers. Enemy down to 100 points. Good and clear by the pack 38. He is using the pack abuse bug there, and there goes the Hellcat. And this pack 38 will likely go down. That is, I think, all four. Or just two. Uh, maybe it was all four firing right there. Damage to crit down the war from half track. King Tiger takes some damage, but the VP is captured by the Veronach players. Next cross order is dancing around. Right here is here to support, trying to decapture that sector. Here's player number one, has plenty of munitions, needs no Pershing, may want to get out some uh, M10s or something on the field. His teammate has massive reserve resources. He may just want to be suicidal. Charge forward with a whole bunch of M10s, replace them. At this point in time, a second tank depot to build more M10s replace the M10s could be a possibility. He actually could use a secondary production queue. Is that a stupid idea? Probably. It's coming from me. Here to pair not active. He's out of munitions, pretty much. Pershing gets a nice pen there. I think does not. Now we got, ooh, Firestorm being brought on in. The Fear Storm. More five year rocket barrages trying to hit the heavy cans. Tiger Tank has plenty of health. Rock Squad not trying to with a bump, uh, sticky bomb. I don't know if we've even seen sticky bomb yet this game. Looks like the Grandiers to go down there. Panthers push way forward. King Tiger takes some more hits. Here comes Calliope rocket barrages. The Panthers need to keep on driving. King Tiger may want to start eyeing the back on all to get repairs. He has taken some damage. Casualties being reported. Giga Ponds are taking more damage as well. Does get a... Uh, was that an AOE hit there? These Panthers getting hit pretty hard. Does take a little quiet piece. Trying to back on off. This is the Terror Flare, so not the player of Axis Blitzkrieg. And he will actually potentially escape out with these uh, Panthers. They need to keep on driving back to repair bunker. AT guns do get the crew. Pershing can repair it on up, so just a bunch of C1. Another war from Barrage over here. And looks like the Pershings can get. And looks like one of the players may have lagged on the game, or maybe just uh, oh, both players back to the game. That's gonna be the end of the replay. That was a massive tank combat. War from half track, firing away. And that is the end of replay. This is Anne Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay. <coughs> <coughs> Actually, that's probably going to be my last replay for tonight. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I need to get let it rest. My apologies. Everyone, thank you for watching. Have a good evening, and, can, and get some good rest.